with the subject of power and authority or authority and power uh, whichever way you would want to put it across we will also get to a point where we will talk about um, um, what comes first but I am going to talk about this because I would want every one of us to exercise the authority that our Father God gave to us. In different areas of our lives. So while we stand, uh, let's open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse number 5. To ten. Matthew chapter number eight, verse five to ten. And when Jesus entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. And saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. 13. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the set self same hour chapter 9 of the book of luke verse number 1 and verse 2 luke chapter number 9 verse 1 and 2 then he called his disciples together mm. and gave them power and authority mm. over all devils mm. and to cure diseases Mm. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God mm. and to heal the sick. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. But he had given them authority over all devils. And to cure diseases. May the Lord bless the reading of his word because it is holy. Let's put our hands together. Let's take our seats. The book of Matthew chapter 8 is an interesting um, chapter. A lot of encounters took place in this chapter. And um, it is interesting that when you read chapter 8, you read chapter 9, you begin to learn how Jesus functioned through the power that was given to him by his father. Because 
So it's not only learning that he used or he exercised that power, which is important, but also how he was doing it, which is also important. Because most of us, we have been prayed for countless times and we received the Holy Spirit and we received the power of the Spirit. But we do not understand how we can exercise that power when we receive it. And that's why we are doing it. So as we are educating one another in this series, I want every one of us to have a know-how of exercising the power that we have in Christ Jesus. Because having the power and exercising the power are different things. And it's said that there are people who have power who don't use the power they have. There are as good as powerless because they are not exercising the power they have. So as much as we have prayed together, fasted together, imparted the power of the spirit to one another, you have a part to play for that power to bring change to yourself and your surroundings. You have your part to play. You have your responsibility in the equation. Lest you will think that these spiritual things don't work. Yet these things, they work when you know your place in the equation. May God open your eyes of understanding that you may be able to see your position in the equation of spiritual power. Your amen can be better than that. Amen. We have spoken a lot on this scripture teaching different concepts, but um, today we want to have a different approach to the same passage that we have explained to one another countless times. We want to understand authority and when jesus entered into capernaum they came unto him a centurion beseeching and saying lord my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and Jesus said unto him I will come and heal him take note that Jesus did not say I will come and pray for him Jesus said, I am coming over to heal him. Authority is a language. We don't just speak things in doubt, we speak things in faith. When we are now speaking the language of authority and power, we don't come over to pray. We come over to heal. We come over to deliver. And this is the Jesus style. When you see us coming in the style of our Lord Jesus Christ, and it's a service for blessing people, we are not praying that you be blessed. We bless you. We, when it's a service for deliverance, we are not coming over to pray for you that you may be delivered. 
we are coming to deliver you. Am, am I talking to somebody right there? And this is what Jesus said that I will come. And heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am a, I, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority. That's, that's something that you need to underline if the Bible belongs to you. Having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go and he goeth. And to another, come and he cometh. And to my servant, do this and he doeth it. When Jesus had it, he marveled and he said to them that followed. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Go thy way and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. So in the same hour the servant was healed. What, what is authority? What is authority? Authority is the right to give orders. Authority is the right to give instructions. Authority is the power to make decisions. Authority is also the power to enforce obedience. I want you to understand that not every person that speaks is heard. You can speak and you will not be heard. You need authority that when you speak your voice enforces obedience. I think by now you understand that volume is not power. When you increase your volume when you are talking, it doesn't mean that the power is increasing. You are just becoming loud. In, in, in fact, as you continue to increase your voice, it shows the level of doubt. In the, in, the, in the power you are releasing. But when you understand the power that you have as you speak, when you understand the authority that you have, when you open your mouth to speak, you know that even if you whisper, you will be heard. Because it is beyond the volume. It is beyond how loud the sound is. It's about the power behind the voice speaking. So, whatever you have to do as a person is to understand that giving orders, no one is, 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 is hindered or barred from doing that. But having your orders taken and respected takes authority. I know that most of us in a way or the other we are found in a leadership position or role at work in our families or in our social cycles. 
Tunoziwa kuti vashinji vedu tine tine mukana wokunge tine utungamiriri. And our problem is that when we are leading people people they don't listen to us. Dambudziko redu ndere kuti kana tichitungamirira vanhu vana vatiterere. I've heard from some of the church leaders when we sit having a meeting they'll be saying these people they want you to talk to them. We, we have been telling them that do this do this but they have not been doing it. I think they will hear if you speak. Vanoda kuterera imimi kana muchitaura. Is it something to do with the person? Inyaine chekuita nemunhu. Or it's something to do with the authority that the person has attained. Kana kuti inyaine chekuita nesimba rakawanikwa nemunhu iye. One thing that you have to understand uh, people of God is that titles don't make leaders. And positions they don't guarantee power. Shinjimbo aziratidze kuva nesimba and titles they don't make leaders mazita hata ore utungamiri so there are people who think that because he is called apostle people will listen to him because of that kune vanhu vanofunga kuti vakanzi ma apostle vanhu vanovaterera nokuda kwaizvo that is why you are seeing that in our generation we have more self proclaimed apostles and prophets ndicho chikonzero mumazera edu tina vanhu vanozviti ma prophet na ma apostle than them that have been appointed and ordained to be apostles and prophets because they feel that they need a title to function nekuti vanonzi kwakuti vanoda mazita kuti vagonokushanda but even when the title is there they are not able to move mountains because it is not the title that comes with the authority kunyangwe zita riripa vakwanze kusunda makomo nekuti harisi zita rinopa simba you are seated there and uh, you are like looking a little bit confused but am i the only apostle that you know in this city remember you have apostles right in the street that you are staying you know the house they, they live in. You know the, the car, if there is a car, they are driving. And that should tell you that it's not in the title. It is in the authority. There is something spiritual that you people are supposed to get. The, 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 the power of God is in this place. I, I thought somebody was going to say amen louder than this. <laughs> so you, you don't need that title. You don't need that position to have the power. You need to have the power. Even when you are given the position, you must know that you need to have some sort of spiritual authority that will help you to be heard. Kunyango kapiwa chinjimbo unofanira kuziva kuti unofanira kuva nesimba kuti ugone kuzonzwikwa. You will not be respected, you will not be saluted by people or things. Haugone kukudzwa navanhu nezvinhu until you have authority. Kushika wava nesimba rechikoriri. So Jesus was not given a title, Jesus was given a name. Jesus haana kupiwa that that was a all names Jesus hana kungopiwa zita badza akapiwa zita riri pamusoro pamazita ose and when you look at the definition of the word name mukatarira zvinoreva zita you would know that it means reputation it is not a name in terms of something that identifies you it is a name as in something that defines your reputation or your behavior or how you function am i talking to somebody right there and this was jesus and the bible says in the book of philippians there chapter number 2 he was given a name kunawa philippi kunonzi wakapiwa zita above every name pamsoro pamazita ose and is it not interesting that when he was given a name that is above every name the bible says at the mention of this name 
every knee should bow mgudanu wako zitairi mabiwose anopfugama and not only knees bowing we are told that knees that are in heaven will bow we are also told that knees that are in the earth will also bow and knees that are under the earth will bow but what blew my mind when i was reading this scripture is that the bible did not speak of the knees of people The Bible is talking about knees of the things. Things have knees. And they bow to a certain level of reputation. And the reputation I'm talking about here is a reputation of authority. Kurumbira wandu kutaura mukurumbira wa masimba. Ah na maina na baba zvino hazvide kuitirwa dzungu. Mameno kana murunidzwa zvakanaka. Kwangonzwa onza hapa ne wakumhanya kuno kunotenga mabhero kumozambiko kuti kuti amabhero ari kudyisa wakumhanya iko kuchita so. Zvinoda kutsvagirwa power, zvinoda kutsvagirwa simba remweya. Am I talking to somebody right there? Because zvino zvine mavhiz Zvinoda kuti unge uine simba rekuti rakozita rakadanwa zvino zvinotanga kupfugama. May I make this declaration at this point? Because of the authority that is going to come upon your life in this service and beyond. When your name is mentioned, may things begin to bow. The things that are in the earth, may they begin to bow. I, I don't know I don't know what 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 things you would want to call things whether these are houses whether this is land whether this, 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 this these are cars whether these are demons if there are demons in the earth whether this is sickness if there are sicknesses in the earth when your name is mentioned when you are moving in your reputation may every knee of the things that are in the earth begin to bow down I, i don't know if i'm talking to somebody here you should not be head talking about failure you should not be head talking about defeat you should not be head talking about death The authority we have dominates different spheres. When we are walking into them, we have this authority that the things in the earth bows down before us. Am I talking to somebody right there? <laughs> so we want to move every individual in this place to that dimension where you are respected and honored by things in the earth. Kutenga kana stand chaiko chaiko unyatsoona kuti mari yacho kana kwatanga kutora nezvistand haibatane Kuti utenge kana motokari yekufamba nayo unonzwa pa a certain level kuti kuti mari yacho haisuda kubvuma And uno uno tryer zvese zvaunogona kuda kuunganidza uno shingaira but unonyatsonzwa kuti ndiri ku resist kwakupinda mu level ishi And izvo zvaizvo avichade simba renyama We are here I, I, I like to use this day we are here to initiate you <laughs> uh, I, am, I, am I talking to someone right there I, I know this word has been used a lot when people are talking about satanism but it's from the word initial we, we are we are launching you for the first time into a realm I, am I talking to somebody right here So I, I am here as a spiritual territorial commander to to initiate you to launch you to help you for the first time to break into a new realm. Are you are you hearing what I'm talking about? 
the things that were resisting you we are declaring that those things will not resist you no more <laughs> Because pictures. I don't end up a waiting list for city council for two years. We should go and do no renew once and then we renew a waiting list in number. When they shout at us, they look at us. We put our masks in and sing our play. But in a waiting list in number, we are going to run by the renew or the renew one. So all we do is we start a quarrel or a panic. But when you get them, we are in. Kana baka tuwa gawe kufara, even kusiti kanzo kwa chuma stenda abuda. Raku raka reruka sita, so nunta ya atatubise ushu ne ushu, uinga atubise ne ushu. Nesi ruwa faira raku pasi. Haa. Nuna tuku taura iso sisho kuti. Kana taku vapana pa of the things in the earth. Zinu ziripanyika. Zita raku raka tezgwa. When you name those things must obey. So the question the authority. Because you cannot demonstrate that which you don't have. You cannot exercise that which you don't have. You are going to demonstrate something you are supposed to have it for you to demonstrate it. Do you remember what Peter said Acts chapter 3? He said silver and gold we do not have, but such as we have, give we unto thee. You cannot give what you don't have. You can only give what you have. So for you to move around exercising authority, you must first have the authority. So you have to understand how authority is attained. Am, am, am I talking to somebody right there? Am I talking to somebody right there? The man here is saying I am a man under authority. And I say to one go and he goeth. To another come and he come. To another do this and he doeth. For I am a man under authority. You know, this is the scripture that you have to look at. For I am a man under authority. I say to one, come, and he comes. I say to the other, go, and he goes. The man he is saying, I am a man under authority. He is not saying I am a man in authority. Because 
Is, is that okay? Bana ba ndumbo manya ipo papa because tikangoda u ita speed ipo papa. Ndo ba ndumbo ino rasika yes. The man is saying, I am a man under authority. Muruma rukutindiri munu unora irwa. Having soldiers under me. So this is a statement that the centurion is giving to Jesus describing his position and his rank. A centurion man is a man who is in charge of a hundred soldiers. But he is not in charge of the entire army. Which means that in the ranks of the army at the time, he is not the commander in chief. He is a man who can give commands, but only to the hundred soldiers that are under him. Yet he himself is also under authority. There is somebody above him that instructs him and he is also able to instruct the soldiers that are under him. So he is making it clear to Jesus that I myself am under authority so I understand how it works. But I also have soldiers under me. And I tell these soldiers go and they go. I tell them come and they come. I tell them, do this, and they do. Why, why is he speaking about this? He understands that authority is a harvest of submission. You cannot have authority without you being under authority. The, the man the man is saying I'm a man under authority and I have soldiers under me I say to one, come and he comes. To the other, go and he goes. To another, do this and he doeth. It looks like he's telling Jesus that with the power that I have, I tell everybody to do something. And they can do it for me. But he didn't start by saying that. He started by saying also myself. I'm under authority. What is giving me the power to call them and they come is that I am submitting to a certain higher power. No, 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 no. Let me, I want to give you, I want to give you a scripture which you should enjoy. Mm, I, I don't know who you are, for how long that you are, for how long should you be enjoying this kind of a scripture? I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to this point because I don't want to be in a hurry because this point is the point. Chapter, chapter number one of the book of Romans. I said Romans chapter number what? Just put a three in front of that. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Mm. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Huh? Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. There are 
powers kuna masimba that are higher makuru mm. ha mm. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every soul is supposed to be subject to higher powers. The reason why most of you people are weak is because you don't have powers that are above you. You want authority but you are not under authority. And don't move up by papa. Unotongwa nani? Tingo kubunza ndiani wakuta kata orono munzwa. So far. Parijino. Kune ere izwiri no tira kata orono funduka. So far. Submission is not a sign of weakness. Submission is a sign of strength. Une mune ere ano kurovesa ne ana wa kuda kuita zvawo da kuita kuti ukangomufunga Unobva unobva kuti Kana kuti You are a free agent You are a free spirit You will never be in authority until you are under authority. submission. <laughs> Adai ta senga ruku konsa uta every step. Ito resign uta ruku fight. Chirimuka tu make chisiru submit. Wana message ya zopinda. Wana wanya tu check a kuti ruva gu. Chui wana message so ndo ono di iwo ndo zanga ziru iwais. Kuti zo buda message ya kada iso. Paru wa ondo. Kuti shike i message. <laughs> Ato nyora za asiri mu message. Was iye pachake anoto zvinzwa, anoto shaiwe kuudza, anoto zvinzwa kuti submission and dinner. Ndine kuzvitonga kwakazara. <laughs> Andi kupa manya. <laughs> Uri kutongwa nani? Right. Because what if Papa 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 Kuti, they don't go up a space in Barango. Uno Rambogan is in Basse. It was Jin de Manira. Uno Rambogan de Montgarcy, the Jin de Manira. Uno Uno Faruan is the way they say, Jin de Venga. Paragoto Ratiza, a level of misalignment. <laughs> I am a man under authority. <laughs> I say to one comes. You know, he cometh. Oh yeah. 
Another one go and he goes. No muenda oenda. And I rasa ngiri simbu ganyacho. If Papa but no go to chimbo mirai. Over this transaction. Didn't he right out one power and one authority over that. And the Usakurumi the good Zunga is one good Wakambo Kunda Jerusalem. What on Manyagunana Judea? Nekumwe Quest Unokuara Jesuarasiatu at Ziz Musa Buddha Jerusalem. Kusika Muyam Senaita say, Awe. Because Jesu a iziva kuti simbaravo rine jurisdiction. Ma mepo angari mjerusalem, anga akundwa ne presence ya Jesu pa anga aripo. But I thought wa koma na wakada ubida ni evangeli iri. Kunze kwe jerusalem, wajino sutanga kuno to come out, go. Kunze ukoku, wanofa. Saka, musaenda. Chakatozo ita kutuwa zonyoru kwa wachinzi these are the twelves that turned the world upside down. Inyaye kutipa wakanzi wasa endi. Havana hey. kuyendi. Endi hey. wawuzi kwa pache na udanzi miri raimwea. Nekuti mchapi wa simba. Kanda mwea mchene auya. I was having a session with... Uh, the apostolic community in Blawayo, it was a business session. And I was asking them what they need for them to do well in business. I can't remember the other one said, I, for me, I just want 13, was that 75,000 runs to, to, to buy this machine. And the other one spoke of $5,000. And the other one, and I said, yeah, please just go ahead, tell me wh 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 what you need. And it was almost everyone except a few that I suspected knew why I was asking that I didn't ask. All, all the other people were looking forward to either a machine or money. Yet having capital or having a machine or an opportunity Without power. Remember, we can, we can use this word interchangeably. They say knowledge is power, whether it's knowledge or it's power. Without power, you get the same results. And I'm not sure that I'm going to say that every time I'm going to say that I'm going to say that the next time I'm going to say that I'm going Hapa meno kuti muna anu riva rasei kutoti. Ndaka mboba suika. Ewa kwa suika pa jangshe ni kakurumi za kurangaronda. Ndaka mboba suika futa. Chicha kaza ito ndizo. Ndacha chicha ndizo. So ndizo kepa napa. Andizo kutu akairechu njisiri icho. Izo tiru kuti mira pa Jerusalem. Kusukira mwe yao mtsene awia akupa. Power! <laughs> Ah, 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 Leave me alone, International Ministries. 
I'm a Atin <laughs> <laughs> This way, you know, for ten dollars. Hapana and a cheerful giving, if Baba ends the cheerful giving. I see, I'm looking at the living where I because Maragata, I love cheerful givers. I'm not going to take Papa, but my own for Sana because authority are Japan. Now, let's close with. What authority does? Matthew chapter 21 and verse number 23. What authority does? What authority does? Matthew chapter 21 verse 23. Mm. And when he was come into the temple, mm. The chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching mm. and said, By what authority doest thou these things? Mm. And who gave thee this authority? The question is coming as Jesus was teaching. And as Jesus, Jesus' teaching was not just teaching, it was doing. They, they asked him the question, how, how come? How come you speak? By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave you this authority? Do you know that there are people that speak and you don't care whether they speak or not? Because they don't have authority. There are people when they speak. It becomes an issue. Why? Because when they are speaking, they are speaking from a place of authority. May I make this declaration that authority will distinguish you. You may say the same words, but the power be behind your words will be greater than everybody else. Whether you are into marketing, when you open your mouth to speak, there will be power backing up your marketing. Whether you are an individual that is into preaching, as you are preaching, there will be power backing up what you are saying. When you talk, they will hear. When you speak, they will listen. Why? Because your voice will be distinguished by the authority given to you by Christ Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter number 7 and verse 29. Matthew chapter 7 verse 29 For he taught them as one having authority not as the scribe. He taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. May I say this to you when authority is present it distinguishes you from your rivals. When authority is praised, it sets you apart in competition. 
Those that are competing with you, they will not match your level. May I declare this in the mighty name of Jesus because of the authority that you are receiving. You are going to be different. It makes you different. It distinguishes you. It separates you. May I declare in any field you are, there is an authority of distinction that is coming upon your life. You shall not be like the scribes. You shall not be like them. You are in the same trade. You are in the same profession. You are doing the same things, but authority distinguishes you. Why? Because you are also chete. There is authority that is backing you up. No matter how many law firms, no matter how many accounting firms we will open in the city. Yours shall be different because you have authority with you. Am I helping somebody right here? Because when Jesus was teaching, he was teaching with authority. Not as the scribes. When we are selling, we sell with authority. Not as every salesperson. Am, am I talking to somebody right here? There is an authority. There is an oil of authority that is in this place. It it will separate you. It will distinguish you. It will make you different. In everything that you shall do, people will know that you are different from everyone else who is doing the same. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Not as the scribes. Not as my competitors. Not as my rivals. I will be having this level of authority. I, 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 I deny that even when I stand here to preach, I say not like every preacher. Why? Because I have to do my things with authority. <laughs> When authority is present, it makes you to produce results. The God of new creation is the God of results. We don't just gather here to make noise. Our God is a God of results. When we speak power, power comes. When we speak health, Health is delivered unto us. When we talk about deliverance, deliverance is ushered to us. When we talk about wealth, wealth is given to us. When we talk about marriages, we, we you know, it, it will be a wedding Sunday after Sunday. Why? Because the God of this house is a God of results. The man said, I'm a man under authority. Chapter 8, verse 9 of the book of Matthew. He said, I say, go to one and he goes. Come to the other and he comes. And I say to the other one, do this and he does. It shows that when you are speaking from authority, what you say happens. It means that whatever you speak has results. I'm here to launch you into a new realm of function. As you are functioning, whatever you shall lay your hands upon, results will follow. Am I talking to somebody right there? When you lay your hands upon something, results are inevitable. Am I helping somebody right here? When you open your mouth to say a word, what you say shall become. You cannot be defeated anymore. May I declare in 2022, you are not a failure. You are not a failure. You are not a person that shall be defeated. You are an overcomer. 
Because of the authority that is coming upon your life. Okay, let's take it easy a little bit, then we close. <sighs> my God, my God, my God. The, the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 27. Mark chapter number 1 verse 27 and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this? Mm. What new doctrine is this? Mm. For with authority commanded he even unclean spirit and they do obey him. <laughs> When authority is present, you are obeyed. When authority is in place, you don't waste time just making noise and speaking all these things. A man of authority is not taken for granted. A woman of authority is not taken for granted. I'm here to declare that this year you will not be taken for granted in the name of Jesus. When you open your mouth to speak, not only people shall obey you, even things shall obey you. When you open your mouth to speak, not only humans shall hear you, also spirits. We will pay attention to your voice. I'm declaring now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm declaring now in the mighty name of Jesus. We are initiating you into the new doctrine. That as you are going to be speaking, you'll be speaking as one with authority. You'll be speaking as one with authority. You are going to become economic with your words because you know that when they go out, they will fetch that which you sent them to fetch. I declare this now in the mighty name of Jesus. Like your Lord Jesus Christ, when you speak, you shall be heard. When you speak, you shall be obeyed. I declare this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, how do we exercise authority? When we leave, how do we exercise? I am a man. Did you under authority. So now I've learned that I have to submit to higher powers. And when I submit to higher powers, I harvest authority. Because I have submitted, things will begin to submit to me. Because I have submitted, things will begin to submit. But now, how do I exercise? He said, I am a man under authority. I say, do not I say, do not tower good. I say, do not tower good. To one come, kuna uma uya. He comes, uya. I also say, do not tower good. Zakari, to the other go, kuna uma enda. And he goeth, oenda. I also say to another, do this. Do not tower kuna uma kuti itaich. So in going, in coming. And doing, there is one thing that is consistent. That the one who is demanding is saying. Authority is exercised through words. You don't have to be a member of a royal church like this. 
And your language is a language of prisoners. Simba <laughs> You own a 27. You know, God willing, we, we are going to meet. Who knows whether we are going to be there? We know that we are going to be there. Authority should be exercised in words. Authority <laughs> authority do you know this is what job did for him to lose everything he had he he spoke he spoke you know what he spoke he, he was speaking a language without authority and he opened the door look at job chapter 3 verse 25 For the thing which I greatly feared is coming. So, number upon one, me. he feared. Okay? He feared. What attracted disaster in his life was fear. Fear is faith in the negative. You are believing. Faith is believing, fear is believing. Faith is believing the positive, and fear is believing the negative. So the man had fear which he described not to be small. It was great. Listen to what he said. And that which I was afraid of has ah. come unto he, me. Can you repeat again? He said the thing that I... He did not say the thing that I feared. He said the thing that I... Greatly feared. I great, which means that this was not small fear. This was great fear. And that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Now, listen to verse number 26. I was not in safety. Hold on. Go to Job chapter 1 verse 10. We want to hear what the devil said. Uh-huh. Has not thou made a hedge about him? The devil is saying, have you not put a hedge around Job? Mm. Is it about Job only? And, and about his house. Uh-huh. And about all that he has on every side. Huh? And let's, let's hear what Job is saying on verse 26 of chapter 3. I was not in safety. Ha, let's, let's go back. Let's hear what the devil observed. When the devil visited Job, we want to find out what, 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 what the devil observed. What, what did the devil observe? Has not thou made an hedge about him? There is a wall around him. But he is the one who is not feeling safe. We are heavily defended. Yes. <laughs> we are heavily defended. Language of authority. language of authority. Am, 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 I, am I helping somebody right there? Yes. <laughs> because when you know how to talk, mm -hmm. huh? a thousand may fall by your side. 10,000 around you. But it may not come near you because you know how to exercise authority. 
I will never be poor again. That is a language of authority. We have to declare in my prosperity I shall not be moved. We exercise authority by speaking. Let's, let's, let's hear this now. Even when you go to Funga, and you report a group of church, you don't send a statement to give authority. Yeah, I'm heavily defended. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. statement re authority. I will live, I will live forever. Charara ma next ngapere. Charara ma the real experience of death when they are alive. Ipo pana pane vanhu vaka vaka captured. Nerufu. Ipo pana as we are talking. We have people who are captured by death. They are alive and they are afraid of dying. Very serious. We have to do this. We have to Any day can be my last day. Chiripana. Who needs a phone out? Chiripana. Namunaji practice and what I got some to my own panels or Fasa. Then I was it, I say. Don't go to imagine I na ega. Achisuka, Achibika. Machineta and never now as in the coro. As you want as this is wrong from what Zaki. Ototanga could what you are in this present moment. Mukazuagaji room pay. No one can go to Simbarema demon. There is a pain. She <laughs> I was not in safety. As Ukurunzi, any hedge, quite even then. Huh? Nezese. <laughs> What does it matter? It's like perception. I can't imagine how they would marry one of No, 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 no. Hey, they are God. Hey. Is our Father. Hey. <laughs> yes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Neither had I rest. Pakai pai pa pumpundis. Anna ku zorora. Abari safe, but arku zor das safe. Saka a zorori. Merenga i pumpundis. Neither was I quiet. Apo, do pane nyayese. Aruku taura kuti manje ji, ina na uzo nyarara. Kuti andan siri safe. Nda yu zamunu wese. Kuti ya, andi si safe. Apari mjura o. Pane electric fence. Aruku famba chu uzavano. Andi si safe. Hmm? 